Welcome back to the Be Dynamics Podcast. I'm your host, Darnisha, and I'm so happy that you guys are joining me once again. Happy Monday. I hope that you have a great week this week. Um, Can y'all believe that we are only like 99 days away from a new year? We only got 99, I think 99 days left in this year, and that is crazy to me. Like, I feel like we just got here. In today's episode, we are discussing letting go of regret, and I hope that that can help you in the new year have a fresh new start and not hold on to the things that happened in your past. So you ever think about what your life would or could be if you would have made this decision, that decision, just a different decision in general? Stop. Literally, stop it. Stop thinking about what coulda, shoulda, would have been. Because the reality of the situation is you cannot change it. You cannot change the past, but you can grow through what you went through. Dynamic Fashion and the Be Dynamic podcast would not be here if I had not made poor decisions. But we would also not be here if I had focused on those decisions and just lived in regret. Like literally, if you've been here for a while, you know the story. You know about me going to college for something I really didn't want to do and how I was living for others and not truly living and walking in my purpose. If I focus on that each and every day, how I just made the wrong decision and how if I would have just went to school for what I was supposed to, if I would have just done this back then, if I focused on that, I would not be here. I don't know where I would be, but I wouldn't be here. I might be somewhere greater. I might have more, but who knows if I would be as happy as I am? Who knows if I would be as fulfilled as I am working with my brand? If I had not gone through anything, I couldn't tell you about changing the dynamic of your life if I wouldn't have been putting in the work to change the dynamic of my own life. So today we're going to discuss ways to let go of that regret and move forward. That's what it's all all about. We all have a past. We've all made decisions that we're not so proud of now that we wish we would have done something different back then. So I just want to give us practical ways to move through it, okay? So first things first, make peace with your decisions. No matter if the decisions were poor decisions in your opinion or great decisions in your opinion, no matter what. No matter what came out of it, make peace with it. It's it's done. You've been you've been through it, you've done it, you're here now. Right? So make peace with that. In order to make peace with that, you have to acknowledge them. So acknowledge your poor decisions. Acknowledge that, okay, maybe I shouldn't have moved like this. Maybe I shouldn't have said that. Maybe I shouldn't have done this. Even if you have to go as far as writing them down, reading them, actually figuring out what poor decisions did I make, do that as long as you're acknowledging that you made them and taking accountability for your decisions, taking accountability for creating the space that you're in now. Acknowledge those poor decisions. Don't just let them sit there and take over your mind. After acknowledging the poor decisions, Figuring out where you went wrong, in your opinion, where you went wrong, forgive yourself. We talk so much about forgiving others for what they've done to you, but let's forgive ourselves. Because the person realizing that that decision was not the best decision back then, you're not that same person right now. So you got to give yourself some grace and forgive yourself for your past decisions. Yes, you could be in a, such a better place if you made a different decision back then. But you don't know if you would be happy. You don't know who would be there with you. You don't know what else would have come with the better side of the decision. So forgive yourself for not being knowledgeable. Forgive yourself for not knowing what came with those decisions that you made. You're stronger than you were five years ago. 
you're my you're more knowledgeable than you were five years ago the you right now may have not made that decision but you did not have all the resources everything that you have right now to make a better decision you made the best decision you could back then maybe so forgive yourself you're worth that forgiveness just like forgiving others is for us forgiving yourself is for you forgiveness period is for you so forgive yourself and stop harping on what could have been and you matter you matter just as much as anybody else so if somebody else is worth forgiving why aren't you worth forgiving just like you got to be compassionate to others be compassionate to yourself show yourself some grace and compassion learn to have patience with yourself on your journey like you're not gonna always make the right decision you're not gonna always be who you need to be in the moment so everything's not gonna be perfect you really just gotta learn to take accountability acknowledge your wrong learn from it and move forward that's all we can do because sitting in it is not healthy it's gonna hurt you more than you think the next thing you must do is limit your time with regret. It's okay to sit in your feelings and feel how you feel about the decisions that you made. Because, I mean, it's human. It's a human thing. We're human. It's real. So, sitting in your emotions, feeling how you feel, feeling that regret is okay. But you want to limit the time you give yourself to feel that way. If you wake up every day and you think about this thing every day, it's negative at this point. Because if it was a good decision, you wouldn't be harping on it. So it's a negative thing. You're going to have negative emotions, negative feelings. Therefore, negative actions will come from that if you're sitting in regret every day. Sitting in regret every day and thinking of all the horrible decisions that you made or all the bad decisions that you made, it causes you to miss the moment. You can't, you can't live in the moment because you're thinking about past moments that could have been. You're thinking about unrealistic moments that could have been when you, you have a moment right here. You have something going on right here that you can't see because you're blinded by what could have been. But what could have been is not. And at the end of the day, we don't have the power to go back change things all we can deal with is what's right here in front of us right now but if you are so focused on back then you miss the moment you miss the people around you who are trying to help you move forward you're not able to focus on the next opportunity whatever you missed out on in the past okay accept it but there's something right here for you right now there's something more for you in the future. But if you're so focused on the regret, you may just miss that opportunity. You may just miss the feeling that those opportunities can give you because you have feeling of regret each and every day. But whatever you're in right now could give you a sense of peace. It could give you some happiness. It could teach you new things it could help you grow as a person but you can't see that because you're focused on the shouldas the couldas the wouldas the what ifs they're only what ifs they're not what is and yes you're always going to have those little triggers but let's try to turn your triggers into reminders just reminders of where you've been on this journey reminders of what it taught you not necessarily a trigger to make you sit in regret turn the whole thing around honestly it's just like we are not there's a purpose and a plan for everything if you were supposed to be back there you would be there if you were supposed to be in a spot you would be there but for some reason you are where you are you are where you are and you have to have confidence in God confidence that he has you confidence that he knows what he's doing we can't see it all we literally cannot see every angle of life 
every angle of why things are the way they are, but we have to trust and have confidence in him that he knows what he's doing because there's no way that he would let you make those decisions and not have something on the other side for you. There's no way. Last but not least, you have to grow through what you go through. And it's as simple as it sounds. Whatever you go through, the things you've been through has something for you in those situations. It's something positive in those situations that can change you and help you grow on your journey. There's something for you to learn from the decisions that you've made. You learn not to be so quick. You learn to do more research. You learn to not to be so anxious to make a decision. You just, you can learn so many things from the things that you go through. But if we're so focused on what could have come out of those things instead of what did, we don't see the things that we can learn. We miss the things that it taught us. Because we can't go back and change it, growing from it is literally the only choice. Grow from it or let it drown you. Those are the choices. I suggest growing from it. That's that's what I suggest. Finding a way to grow through it. Create a new vision. Literally change the dynamic of your life. Dwelling will not change the dynamic of your life in a positive way. It'll change it. It'll change it and it'll change you. Dwelling in that regret will make you into a person who's not to be around sometimes because you have all of this on your brain all of this on your mind and you're kind of you're not in the moment it's like you're not there because you're so stuck in la la land of what could have been what should have been what I should have did when you just need to be here you need to be in the moment and figure out how to make and how to create a better future for yourself you have power over your life, you have a little bit of control. You can control your thoughts. You can control your emotions. When you see, when you feel those negative thoughts coming back to your mind, immediately cut them off. Immediately. Think about what you're doing right now. Think about what you're working towards right now instead of thinking about the past. Immediately cut it off. It's not easy. It's not going to be an easy change. But I promise you, if you catch yourself each and every time you try to catch yourself and stop those thoughts, they eventually, the triggers turn into reminders instead of being something so negative like a trigger. Choose excitement rather than disappointment. Choose to be excited over your future rather than letting your past decisions tear you up inside. You have the choice. You had the choice back then, you have the choice right now, and you're going to get that choice again in the future. But what you do right now determines what your choices are in the future. Choose excitement. There's nothing we can go back and do. There's nothing we can go back and do to change our past decisions. And there's no need to because you're exactly where you should be. It might not be where you want to be. It might not feel good right now, but later on, you will understand so much more as to why life went the way it went. We're still on this journey. It's a heck of a journey, but dwelling on the past, sitting in your regret is not the answer. Grow through what you go through and things will change. That's all I have for you guys on this episode of the Be Dynamic podcast. I hope that this touched exactly who it was supposed to touch. And I hope that you guys got a great word out of it. Make sure that you guys check us out on our social media platforms, Dynamic X Fashion. Check out our website, www.dynamicxfashion.com. And yeah. Finish out this year strong. We don't have many days left. Um, If it's God's will, 2024 is up for us all. So continue to change, progress, grow. I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye. I hope you learn to make it on your own. And if you let yourself, just know you'll never be alone. I hope that you get everything you want.